In this video we're going to be looking at the Equality Act of 2010, which is what the equality and diversity policies uh, in the UK are currently based on. So this piece of legislation legally protects people from discrimination in the workplace and also in society more widely. It replaces previous anti-discrimination laws with a single act making the law easier to understand and strengthening protection in some particular areas. It also sets out a series of protected characteristics against which people cannot be discriminated. So these are one of the most important parts of the Act that we're going to need to look at, these protected characteristics. They cover things like age, sex or gender, sexual orientation and marital status, pregnancy and maternity, race, colour, nationality, ethnicity or national origins, religion or belief, and disability. Now each of these things are uh, potential areas where people could be discriminated against in the workplace and in society. And it's important that we understand what this idea of discrimination means. So it's unlawful under the Equality Act to discriminate against anyone on the grounds of these protected characteristics. So against someone because they're a man or because they're a woman, because they're young or because they're old, because of particular religious beliefs or associated customs that go with that, because of their level of uh, disability or ability, or things like their sexual orientation. It also means that it's illegal to discriminate against anyone on their association with somebody who has these protected characteristics. So if your uh, sister is gay or your brother is a Muslim, these aren't things that can be discriminated against. You can't be discriminated against uh, because of your association with these people. In terms of discrimination, we're going to look at two particular types of discrimination. Those are direct and indirect. And we're also going to look at what harassment and victimisation are. So direct discrimination is where a person is treated less favourably than any others in relation to things like recruitment or selection. So when people are applying for jobs, and things like training and promotion when people are already in jobs, or at times on selection for redundancy, so when a company might need to lay off their staff. And direct discrimination would be treating a person less favourably because of those one of those characteristics in the protected characteristics list. On the other hand, indirect discrimination would cover uh, times where a person cannot comply with an unjustifiable requirement that's imposed by an employer because of their particular protected characteristic, which in practice could be met by other people in the workplace or a smaller proportion of that group. Harassment is any type of unwanted conduct which violates another person's dignity or creates an intimidating, hostile or degrading, humiliating or offensive environment for someone. This one uh, can be quite nuanced, so it might include lots of different things. It might include uh, spoken or written words, so it could be in an email, it could be in a note, it could be imagery, so pictures that are displayed uh, in workplaces or distributed by email or other systems. Things like graffiti, somebody's written something on the toilet wall. Also things like physical gestures and facial expressions or mimicry. Uh, things like jokes and pranks or things that affect a person's surroundings or other physical behaviour in the workplace. Then we've also got victimisation. So victimisation is the unfair treatment of someone who's made a complaint of discrimination or harassment or who supported somebody else's complaint. I'd like you to take a look at this video from Skills Booster um, to look at examples of these different types of discrimination. 
and then I've got some tasks for you uh, so that you can you can kind of take notes through this video and have a look at see what types of discrimination you can spot.